All right, it is time for Katie's Bitch Fit, a.k.a. Katie's Corner. <laughs> that should have been part of it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. If I can just remember how to do all of this stuff. There's that. There she is. All right, I am going to mute myself, and away you go. You are all set. Hello. So, the first thing I have wrote down is working my ass off. Um, which I have been, um, I don't know if I talked about it. I don't, I think I said that I got my job at the gas station, but I hadn't worked it yet or whatever, but I got a third job doing music lessons, a uh, factory and now gas station. Um, so that's nice this past weekend. Oh my God. Hell Friday, 6am to two gas station. And I had to be at the factory at 6 in Dallas. So, that sucked. And, but then I got off, and they let me off, like, an hour early. So, I got home at, like, 11 instead of midnight. And then I had to be at the gas station again 6 to 2 Saturday morning. And then I had a show Saturday night from 8 to 11. And got in bed probably around midnight. And then I had to be back at the gas station 7 to 2 yesterday. And then I had band practice. So that was my weekend. And I might want to shoot myself in the head. But it's okay because I'm still thriving. Um, yeah. I'm not thriving. But I'm living. And I'm, I'm surviving. I'm so no anyway shoot me for that anyway um but yeah i got my three jobs shit's rocking um also for anybody that's like wow why does she have three jobs i chose this life <laughs> i had a normal seven to four job well it was eight to five and then seven to four for the past two years hate that shit. I don't like the mornings. So that's why I don't like the gas station, but you know, you gotta make up for some shit. But I like so much, like, just being able to make my own schedule and do my own thing, personally. And I like my sleep. I'd much rather work at nights, aka factory. And I love doing my music lessons. And then gas station is just extra bullshit. <laughs> so, but yeah, so there's that. We're also getting, uh, we got all our wedding photos back. Um, speaking of me and Jackson, I'll be married a month tomorrow. Um. <laughs> Can you live anyway. Max? Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're getting wedding photos back. Um, I have a majority of them picked out. I just got to go through, you know, we had like 20 photographers there. Not 20, but we had more than one at least. So there's been a lot to go through. But, um, I would have posted them by now. But like I said, <laughs> busy. <laughs> um. And not just me busy, Jackson stays busy too, and us getting down and time together to go through, you know, thousands of photos. That doesn't come by often. Um, but, um, you know, I've you could probably some save some time if you get rid of the bangs, he wouldn't have to part them. And every time he does that, you would be saving time, and then you could use that time to go through photos. He does it in the morning. He catches me off guard. He'll be like going to work and I'll be laying like this and he'll just. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so I had that show this past Saturday. I had a lot of fun. I played at Blue Bonnet Barbecue in Ennis. Um, really good food and really good drinks. I, they had uh, an espresso martini. So good. So good. Anyway, it was like black coffee with vodka is the shit. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. That reminds me I have to make coffee tonight. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Anytime. Um, but yeah, I did that. And then the week before, um, I think I might have talked about it when we did our podcast. But I played uh, in Corsicana. And that was fun, too. And they also made really strong drinks. So that was nice. And man, the food was killer. Um, it was at Moon Tower in Corsicana. And then this weekend... <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, I'm allowed to say it because it's the place I play at the most. Um, and I'm playing at my favorite place, and, the Oasis. Um, I, I I just have to say, I saw this show today, the promo for it, and mm. I'm so upset that I did not have a month's notice to save money for this show. I know. 
I know. I fucking love the Calamity Janes. You don't even understand. I will pay you to come. I will pay your way. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, will, I want to. <laughs> Anyway, when that, you do it, that show, you give Alyssa and her sister all the love in the Arwen. Uh, uh, God, I love them so much. They're they're so good. Anyway, I just hijacked your bitch fit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. I love them so much, and I'm so excited. Um, I man, Alyssa, she's a hoot. I have been. <laughs> I love Arwen too. But you know, Alyssa, that's my girl. We're we're two peas in a pod for sure personality was and then well, I, mean, I didn't even know you guys knew each other so when i saw the show and and it was both of you are you kidding yeah me? i didn't know i didn't know but they were like the first musicians i ever met they are so awesome and honestly Alyssa even... reminds me of you now that i think about it yes you guys are very much alike they half ass raised me <laughs> i can't believe you did i didn't know no, yeah like, i didn't know they were the first like the first show i ever really played it was like this cute little festival like downtown in east texas or something and I saw them, mm -hmm. and my mom made friends with them, and you know, I saw them everywhere. Um, but man, I had to have been, I think I just started playing guitar, so probably like seven. Wow, I had no idea, they're amazing. Yeah, I, I, I love them so much. I do too. Yeah. I hit up Alyssa, and I was like, hey, because I that's this can be a part of my bitch fit, of course. Um, no, this is actually a bitch fit, and I'm about to talk some shit. Um, but you know what? If she sees it, I hope you know. Anyway, now you done know. She probably done know because I'm a little petty. Anyway, so I played. I met this person and her band uh, at a show, and they're killer. I mean, they're so good. And I was like, man, and we play the Oasis a lot, and it's a good paying show. And um, usually if all the bands I've brought to open end up playing there again. So, like, it's usually just, like, a win-win deal. It's, like, if I want to get you in the Oasis, it's usually a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I let them know that. I was, like, usually if you get in, you're in, if you're good, you know? And um, I was just, I was talking to her, and I was telling her I'm playing the Oasis, and this was months ago. Okay, wait. So I met her at this one show, and we talked and hooked up. And we were, she's like, I'm playing this show uh, here, and I would love for you to open for me. I was like, okay, yeah, send me the details. She never did. And then she put me on the ballot. Luckily, I was off that day, but that was two weeks prior, and mm -hmm. it was my entire band. Luckily, we all were able to make it. Yep. Um, and that was flub up number one. Okay, and I'm like, okay, she's ditzy. I'm ditzy. You know, I forget everything. So whatever. I'm glad we were available and made it work. Anyway, so that show, I talked to her. And I was like, I'm playing the Oasis. And that was two, three months ago. Probably three months ago. And I, she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she wrote the, wrote it down and everything. And like, I saw her put it in her calendar. Um, I will say, though, they were like, I, especially at the Oasis, that's my party show. <laughs> you know, so like, I might be a little, a little drunk. But like, they were wasted. I mean, wasted, like hanging out in the parking lot, eh, wasted, you know, like wasted. Um, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit her up like three weeks ago. I was like, hey, just making sure y'all are still good before, you know, like we post the flyer and all that kind of shit. And she goes, well, um, I'm having hard times, like keeping my band together and everything. And I'm going through a lot of health issues and I felt really bad. And she said, I'm not playing any more shows, at least until next year. She said, I got to get a lot of stuff under control. I was like, no worries. I was like, Don't, I, I was like, it's kind of shitty, but, you know, whatever. Um, so then, I, you know, I found the Calamity Janes, my girls. Um, but also, um, they had a family member pass recently. So I, I kind of, that was kind of up in the air a little bit. But mm -hmm. regardless, um, the next day, I see her post a flyer for a show for this Saturday. So the day after the show, I asked her to play. Mm. Wow. And they would have made good money. I'm just saying. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. That's the end. That actually was a bitch fit. And if you see it, I mean, <laughs> that's the bitch fit. 
the end. Well, and look, and look, Jackson saw it and he said, no way. And I said, what? And he showed it to me and she had posted like two minutes prior. So, you know what my ass did? I went in there and liked it. I was the first like on that hoe. <laughs> I wanted to do so much more, but just that little, because she's going to be like, oh, shit. That's when you go in and you like like the last 60 things she's posted just so she knows you know. <laughs> Well, if she sees this, she real doesn't know I know. <laughs> and Penny is a motherfucker like that, bro. Like, I won't name names, but somebody that I'm pretty close with, like, can't decide whether or not I should be blocked or not. Like, all the time. I'm blocked. I'm not blocked. I'm blocked. I'm not blocked, right? And so, <laughs> I won't name names. Anybody who's close to me knows who I'm talking about, right? I don't, and I need to know. So you're gonna I'll tell me. you after. Yeah, but anytime, anytime this person unblocks me and I find out about it, like somehow, usually it's because somebody that we mutually know gets tagged in something and then I see it and I'll be like, oh, I'm not blocked anymore. But usually when that happens, like this person will unblock me thinking that I don't know that I'm unblocked. And then I see that. Like, so they can see your stuff. Right. So yeah. they can see my stuff and I won't know that I'm unblocked because I'm, I, I mean, I don't look at their shit. I never, I don't care. Like. I'm an adult. Hello. But if if somebody tags that person in it and I see it or sh or that person tags somebody else that I'm friends with and I see it, then I know that I'm unblocked. And then I'll go in and I'll 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 react on their last like 20 posts. <laughs> so that way they know that I know and then they'll reblock me. <laughs> It's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna man. go at 3 a.m. and go start liking all her stuff. <laughs> you should. Oh my god, I, I've, I'm I'm that kind of petty. Just so you understand, I am that. I guy. wanted to like make a certain reaction face, and Jackson was like looking at me funny. I was like, fine. All right. I wanted to do like a wow, like a 